good people it's your boy mr rome cowboys fan talk right back like i never left what's up with y'all happy monday man sorry i'm getting here a little bit late but look there's plenty of things to talk about with the team did a great phenomenal live stream yesterday if you didn't get a chance go check that out We're talking about the game some of the um the heartbreaking losses we had you know saying with stevens and um with overshone but you know, there's some great things going on with the team, too. And I just wanted to kind of just get my thoughts out a little bit. You know, um, no practice today. Talk to Mike McCarthy. Um, talk to him about Mozzie Smith and how he pretty much thinks Mozzie Smith just needs snaps, man. That's what it is. It's one of those things where, you know, and if y'all don't mind, I'm going to just kind of speak my mind about the team. You know, might be a little bit all over the place. But, look, if y'all don't mind, I just want to want to speak. You know, the Mozzie Smith thing, the back and forth on, 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 on Twitter – you know, it's it's what rivals do. If you know football, there's no way in the world you can look at Mozzie Smith and think he's just trash. That's like me saying that Jalen Carter's trash. You know, if we're going to tell jokes, we're going to tell jokes. I hate when we're telling jokes and everybody is, you know, lighthearted and, and it ain't about football and then somebody get super serious and, well, he was doing his job this play. But when it comes to the Cowboys – it's just all jokes. The context never gets brought into the picture. If we're going to joke, we're going to joke. But if we're going to talk football, we're going to talk football. And, and and one of the biggest things with Mozzie is, is his technique, man. Mozzie was a two-gapping, one-tack at Michigan. Um, a lot of get out of your stance, hold the blockers off with both hands, choose to see where the ball carrier might be going or what's going on, and make a decision. So right now his biggest issue is he's too high coming out of his stance. That's what I see, you know, and a lot of that's just muscle memory technique. He's not getting off the ball moving forward because he's looking to get up and look around, and you can't do that anymore. But he's predisposed to do that as muscle memory, and it'll change. DQ and the rest of the team will get him right. Mozzie Smith is too much of a great athletic person. He's just trying to overpower people, which is his upper body strength. He's not using his legs enough because that's what he's been able to do. You can't just overpower everybody with just your arms in the league. He's learning that, though. Eight quarters in, everybody relax. Mozzie Smith will be just fine. That's just my thoughts on it. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about what's going on with Mozzie. Jalen Tolbert has arrived. No, Jalen Tolbert hasn't done anything in the regular season yet, but right now, this is what we wanted his last camp to look like. Jalen Tolbert is playing with confidence. He's running great routes, making amazing catches. And the lights are all on him. He knows that the entire nation, Cowboys Nation, is focused on him before games. He's still showing up. That's a big deal. Certain players, when the lights is on brightest, unfortunately, like like a semi, no disrespect to semi, you know, you'll have a drop here and there. And just it seems like when the pressure's on, it kind of throws them off. Um, like I said, no disrespect to semi. I'm just saying. Um, Noah Brown, th things like that. But I've seen Jalen Tolbert. Everyone knows we're trying to see, are you wide receiver four? You know, and he's done nothing but show up to where people are trying to say, maybe he can challenge for wide receiver three. Now, I feel like that's disrespectful to Michael Gallup. Gallup is fine, man. I think a lot of people have forgotten how good Michael Gallup is, and they're going to remember real soon. But Jalen Tolbert as insurance, if somebody twists an ankle or something like that, is amazing. You know, Kevontae Turpin last week, he'd been flashing enough for them to put him in street clothes before the game ended. Like the wide receiver room is starting to shape up. It's down to who's going to be wide receiver six, Jalen Brooks or Simi Fuhoku. And then you're going to be talking practice squad. That's what I see. So, you know, um, I think that that Tober, though, has really just shown his full tool bag. He's been in his bag. Let's not let's not trip. You know what I'm saying? Um, running back room, I think it's pretty solidified. I, I hear the news before I got on tonight. Jonathan Taylor is, is, is available to seek a trade. And our division rivals is up there. Yo, we might need to go get him. And I feel like the Cowboys is confident. Now, am I saying that Jonathan Taylor wouldn't be great on this this team? I ain't stupid. He's a great player. But do I think we even considering it? No. I feel like Deuce Vaughn has shown enough. And I don't think the Cowboys will pursue it. You know, Jonathan Taylor's contract is fine and everything like that. But I just don't see him pursuing it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe something crazy happens. I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be Tony Pollard's. Running back room with Deuce Vaughn um, and my boy Rico Dowdle behind him. 
Malik Davis probably will be fourth. We'll see what's going on with that. And I don't know what's going on with Rojo, but we will see. We will see. If Malik Davis gets cut, maybe Rojo will come in and get stashed in the practice squad. I don't know. We will see. Um, I also wanted to talk about free agent signings, man. With these injuries and offensive line depth, you start thinking, like, we're going to go out and get somebody? And I was saying this on Twitter earlier. The Cowboys are not going to go sign anybody before the mass cut. They're just not. They're going to wait about two weeks. to Whenever the mass cut is, when the whole league gets cut down, we got scouts. They got, they got notes on all kinds of players. There's some veterans that might get cut. A mass cut is coming, and the Cowboys are going to wait to take advantage of that. They're not going to jump the gun and go sign them. I know I've been saying, go get Jason Peters for depth. They want to go get him early. I've been saying, maybe Anthony Barr for depth. No. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, I want Jabril Cox to step up bad. I do. I do. I know we got Harper. I know Jefferson got nicked up. The linebacker depth on this team is not, like, well fleshed out. Now, I heard something earlier, earlier to the linebacker point. Maybe Marquise Bell can play some linebacker. And he's a great box safety. He got the weight. He got the know-how. He got the vicious hitting ability. Marquise Bell 100% can play linebacker. But would the Cowboys consider it? I've seen the Cowboys put Israel Mukwamu a corner when he was a safety. So I wouldn't rule it out completely. You know what I'm saying? Desperate times call for desperate measures, but we'll see. Maybe it's a way you can stash Marquise, Marquise Bell on this roster um, with Overshawn going to the um, IR. But I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just want Brillo to show up. I would love Brillo to show up. You know what I'm saying? But after LVE and Damone Clark, it was straight Overshawn, et cetera, et cetera. Now it's like, after LVE and Damone Clark, who? Because by, you're going to say Brillo, you're going to say Devin Harper. But do you feel comfortable with that? You know what I'm saying? I need to see where we're going to go um, with this linebacker room. You know, I know I'm throwing a lot of stuff at y'all. Like I said, I'm a little bit all over the place. Um, but free agent signers, we're not going to do nothing. Plus, and foremost, first and foremost, they're not going to sign nobody before because they will guarantee their contract any veterans for the entire season. So they're going to wait until, like, I think it's like right before the season or I think it's after the first game. If you sign someone... It's not guaranteed. It's more week to week. And, that you know, Donald General Jones, no no, no hate to, to, to Stephen Jones. Um, the Jones family have had a pretty good offseason. But they definitely out here about that value. So they're not going to do nothing crazy. I just, look, I heard Mike Fisher talking about earlier that the front office, basically hinting at the front office is not opposed to adding players to this team. So don't be surprised if the Cowboys work out some players and add some depth. Like, it's not going to be no big-name signings I don't see unless somebody crazy gets released. I don't see it. But 100%, I would love a little bit of offensive line depth and maybe another linebacker. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments about, like, maybe Marquise Bell playing some linebacker. Um, but with let's go shoulder injury and the, we already thin at offensive line depth. I 100% can see them going out and just adding someone. I just don't know who. I throw Jason Peters out there because it's familiarity. But he's probably too old if we just going to keep it a buck. So... You know, man, this, the, the beauty of our, the injuries we've dealt with is no starters got hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with the Mozzie thing, I want, like, the confidence in Mozzie that I have, I want him to be a day one starter. But at the, at the end of the day, we have our starting D tackles from last year intact and healthy and ready to go. So Mozzie Smith coming in and playing 15 snaps as a rotational D tackle, as he learns the game, gets his wind up under him, is perfect. He'll be just fine. So, yeah, like, I'm not tripping. Jonathan Hankins is going to start. Oso Digizu is going to start. Mozzie's going to rotate in. Neville Gallimore will be in the rotation, too. I thought, I thought he was gone, but it looks like Neville is, has put in enough work. I feel like he's going to make this roster. That's just my thoughts. But, look, like I said, man, Jalen Tolbert has solidified himself. Mozzie will be just fine. And we will add some more depth to this team. I'm betting on it. But y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments about all the 15 billion things I just said. Um, I'm feeling real good heading into the season. And I got one more last thing to say. One more last thing to say. I know, like, you either love me going back and forth with the Eagles on YouTube or you hate it. I mean, on, um, uh, on um, Twitter, you hate it. But I didn't build my following off Eagles hate. I just enjoy putting people in their place. 
But not, not to be funny, sometimes you get distracted from the main goal. The main goal is to report the Cowboys news and give my opinion on the Cowboys because I'm a super fan. I'm not a reporter. You know what I'm saying? I just love the team like y'all do. But also, you can get distracted from the prize arguing with cornballs that don't got their faces on their profiles. You know what I'm saying? And I want to put the energy into what got me a following in the first place. And I appreciate every last one of y'all. And that's supporting the Cowboys, being optimistic about the Cowboys. Not Eagles hate. My following comes from supporting the Cowboys. Not spewing jokes and all that extra stuff. So... I said on Twitter that I'm going to focus. I'm about to lock in on the Giants, get them some of this venom, you know what I'm saying, and focus on that because that's the, the, the next opponent. They on the menu. Let's lock in. And that's just how I feel. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. I'll holler.